Hey guys, today we are gonna be making my family's famous cranberry cake with a hot butter sauce. So first you're gonna need four cups of fresh cranberries. We love cranberries here, obviously. Then you're gonna need one cup of sugar, two cups of flour, you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of baking soda, uh, three quarters of a can of evaporated milk for the cake. Make sure you gotta shake that sucker up. Half a cup of water. Uh, then make sure you look through it to make sure it's clean water, obviously. <laughs> uh, then I can't find it. Uh, and salt. Way to go, Amber. Right in front of your face. Then for the butter sauce, you're gonna use the rest of the can of that evaporated milk. You need two cups of sugar. A quarter pound of butter. I think that's one whole stick. I hope my math is right. You're gonna need a little bit of vanilla, but we'll get into the sauce later. So let's start with the cake. Grab your big old mixing bowl. And then get nervous because we're not good at baking. <laughs> uh, obviously I didn't come prepared. So dig through your messy cabinets for measuring cups and spoons. Wow, Amber, we are off to a great start. Real professional, very organized. Holy cow, why is this taking you so long? And then make sure that your measuring cups are clean. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the cake. Start with one cup sugar. Good enough. <laughs> Paula Dean who? <laughs> oh my goodness. Then two cups of flour. Level it off because that's what they tell you to do. <laughs> Make sure you use a clean finger. Level the second cup off. Dump her in. Here we go. Get that out of the way. Then two tablespoons of butter. Cut that little nubbin in half. <laughs> and second guess your decisions because I don't know how to bake and numbers are hard. So we're just gonna guess and say that that is two tablespoons of butter. That looks about right. I don't know. And then we are just gonna slice up that butter. It's a butter knife, guys. I hope I don't cut myself. That'd be embarrassing. Good, good enough. And then you take your salt and just add one teaspoon of salt. This isn't the best. Table salt will be a little bit better, uh, but this is all we have, so we're just gonna go with it. Make sure you knock that salt loose. Ooh, too much salt. Oh well. A little salt never hurt anybody. <laughs> we're gonna take our baking soda, two teaspoons of this. Focus, Amber, focus. Don't screw this up. <laughs> Double check the recipe, make sure you're doing it right. There we go two teaspoons of baking soda. And then shake up your evaporated milk a little more. And dig through your drawer for a can opener. That's my can opener noise. <laughs> a little dance break. Be careful, it is foamy after shaking it so much. Oopsie. So then we dump in three quarters of the can of evaporated milk. And apparently that looks about <laughs> three quarters of a can. And then we add in our water. That's half a cup. Dump her on in. 
And then because of baby sleeping, we're gonna use a hand mixer because that's quieter than the KitchenAid that is uh, tucked in the corner behind all of the baby bottle supplies. So please, one moment please, while I try to figure this out. And we are just gonna mix that all together after we splatter our brand new sweater with cake batter. This is. Once your cake is all mixed together, you're gonna take four cups of cranberries. Look at that big one, juicy, perfect. You're just gonna dump them on into the batter, leave them whole. Cranberries bake really nicely and it's gonna look really pretty when it's all done. So just dump them on in there and make sure they are clean. And then I just like to hand mix those into the batter um, just so they don't get damaged. So mix those on in. Now you're gonna take a greased nine by 13 pan Concentrate very hard on getting your batter into the pan without spilling all over yourself. And look at that goodness go. Look at all those berries. Beautiful, beautiful. Concentrate amber. Here we go. Looking good. All right, let's speed this up because it took me way too long to scoop all this batter out. <laughs> and we got to taste it to make sure it's tasting good and shake it flat. Look how pretty that is, guys. Now we're gonna throw it into the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. While it's in the oven, feel free to take a nap like Porter here. Sit in your favorite finer and take a little snooze. All right, time is up. Let's check on it. Ooh, look at that cake. Thumbs up, clean toothpick. We're all good. Now let's make the butter sauce. Two cups sugar. Oh, gotta turn the stove on first. That might help, huh? Medium heat, then use the rest of your evaporated milk, about a quarter of the can. And then one quarter pound of butter, or one stick. I have these two little mini sticks. Then we're gonna grab a whisk and start whisking that together until it starts to dissolve. Oh, and then we're gonna splash our sweater again. So start whisking this until you get the sauce at a rolling boil, then we will add our vanilla. So after like five minutes on the stove, we are at a rolling boil, then you're gonna take your vanilla and add, I don't know, measure with your heart with the vanilla, how much vanilla you like. I added two big swigs. And be careful when you do this because it does kind of bubble up after you add vanilla. Any science out experts out there want to explain that to me? I don't know, it scares me every time. Then you're just gonna keep whisking that until you think it's all mixed in together. Now while the cake is still warm, grab yourself a slice. Look how beautiful that is with the whole berries in there. Lots of cranberries, it is looking good. Now with your warm cake, you're gonna take your hot butter sauce and you're gonna pour that right on top of the cake. Make sure you only put it on slices and not on the entire cake because if the butter sauce sits on the cake for too long, it'll get too soggy and it doesn't keep well that way. So slice at a time, thank me later. And now for the best part, look at that big bite. My mother did not teach me any manners, but obviously it's worth it. I have not met one single person that doesn't like this cake. So try it out this holiday season and let me know what you think. If you have a favorite cranberry recipe you wanna see me try to make, Feel free to send it on over and I would love to try it. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.